In this study, we were interested in how a history of depression and a couple's relationship might affect their metabolic responses to a high-fat meal. So what we did was screen couples who were healthy but largely overweight couch potatoes. We brought them into a hospital research floor and we had them discuss a disagreement. After they had discussed the disagreement, for the remainder of a nine and a half hour day, we were measuring their uh, metabolism and we were also measuring things like insulin, which are really important in terms of fat storage. We found that people who, were, who had a history of depression and who had more troubled marriages had distinctive responses to this high fat meal. They had lower resting energy expenditure after the meal. They also had higher insulin, which would promote fat storage. And they also, even in addition to that, they had elevated triglycerides, fat in their blood afterwards. The resting energy expenditure was such that the 118 calorie difference between couples who had a troubled marriages, who had a troubled marriage, and who also had a history of depression, uh, over, would translate into, over six hours, 118 calories. And that's substantial. So if you took that over the course of a year, that could be as much as 12 pounds. Triglycerides are important because this, when you, want, when you have a high fat meal, you want triglycerides to go down as rapidly as possible. You don't want them to stay up and be elevated because it's associated with a variety of cardiovascular risks. And for those couples, they were staying up and go, going up and staying up higher and longer, which is a bad thing. And insulin was higher as well. And that's a mechanism for fat storage. So these were bad things. We were surprised at the findings, I think, most especially on the energy expenditure. We thought we might see an increase in triglycerides based on some data that had been shown in studies done in mice and rats that are under stress and then given a meal. Um, they show elevated levels of triglycerides. But what we hadn't seen and haven't seen for sure in people is this decline in metabolic rate where their energy expenditure was actually lower if they were in a marriage that was showing signs of distress and um, having had a previous episode of a major mood disorder. So this study is filling a gap between, in the literature between studies that had been done in animals to show that animals respond to meals having a heightened level of triglycerides and also um, having been stressed. But what we're showing is not only were triglycerides elevated, but this lowering of energy expenditure and increase in insulin really almost promotes a perfect storm for gaining body fat in terms of body weight and, and fat tissues, as well as then predicting for higher risk for the metabolic syndrome, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. You really want to plant seeds that are going to help deal with those times of stress, whether it's a distressful marriage or having a lot of stressful events in your life, by you know, keeping healthy foods around the house, making sure you plan to get to bed in time and really can get to sleep adequately as much as possible, exercising regularly, not running a marathon necessarily, but having regular exercise on a daily basis, moving your body. Um, making sure that you have maybe a healthy social support as well.